Hello Divination and welcome. I'm so excited today because we are giving away a free layout. This is how the design is going to look like. So you can go ahead and use it in your designs. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install it onto your website. So let's dive in and let me show you how. To download the free baseball homepage layout, you need to come to this blog post. To make things easier for you, I've linked this blog post in the show notes below. So once you get to this blog post, what you need to do is to scroll down until you see an opt-in box. So here it is. All you have to do is to enter your email address and then click on download. So now that I've clicked download, you'll notice that there's a link here which says download the layout pack. So go ahead and click that link and then automatically your layout pack will be downloaded into your downloads folder. So what you want to do next is to go into the downloads folder and unzip those files. So I'm just going to double click on them to unzip it. So now you can see that we have uh, these files. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to import these files into our website. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into my website. So now that all our layouts are downloaded, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Divi, click on Divi library, and then we're going to click this button which says import and export. Okay, I'm going to click on import, and then I'm going to choose the file that I need to import. So what I'm going to do now is to navigate to the folder where I downloaded my layout. So I'm going to come over here to downloads. So we can see here we have these sections. This is where you can choose the sections that you need in your layout. But in this case, we're just going to go with baseballmaster.json because this contains the complete layout. So I'm going to click on open and then click on import DV Builder layout. Okay, so now that our, our layout has been imported, the next thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page and then import that layout. And before we move on to that section, to that part, you can see here that this is these are all the files that we have for our baseball layout. So what I'm going to do now is to come over here to Pages, click on Add New. We're going to call this page Baseball. I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder. And then I'm going to click on a load from library. I'm going to come over here to add from library. And now we can see our full baseball layout. So all we have to do now at this stage is to just click on load and all the whole design is then uploaded into our layout. So what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and publish. So I'm just going to click publish and let's do a quick preview of our layout. So I'm going to come over here and open this in a new tab. And now we can see this is our full design of our layout. Okay, pretty cool. So let's say you want to use this because right now this page is not set as our home page. And let's say you want to use this as your home page, which is obviously the right thing to do. You don't want to have this page hiding in your navigation. So you can see here, if I click on Divi, it then goes to my blog page. So in order for you to have that layout as your home page, you need to come over here to your dashboard and let's go to settings and then click on reading. So right now, my website is set to show the latest posts. So all I have to do now is to select a static page. And then uh, for the front page, I need to come over here and choose baseball, which is the page that we just created and then click on save changes. So what's going to happen now is if I open, if I go to my website, it's going to show that main baseball page like this. So let's say you want to go in and make some amendments to this template. Well, that's very straightforward. You can always come over here to our page. And then in fact, I'm going to go into the visual builder so I can show you as I'm making all these changes. So let's say I need to come over here and make changes to this text. I can always come over here into my settings of my module and you can see this text which says don't hold back. So let's say I need to amend that or just add to that. You can see as I'm typing, it's making my changes. So I can go in, I can add extra words and I can go into the design and also fix the line height. So I won't go ahead and do all these changes, but this is just to show you that you can go in and customize this to however you want it.
and this means every single module so you can come over here let's say your teams let's say you have less teams here you can always go in and adjust that from 11 to maybe say 20 okay and you can see now it's being updated and then once you've made once you've made all those changes just go ahead and save that module and then save the final page so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be sure to be notified every time we produce new videos similar to what you're seeing today until next time thanks for watching and see you soon